Today we're going to be working with this 8CSR04 sensor. Um, pretty cool little module and uh, they're surprisingly cheap. You can get these, I think around five. And you can actually get like 10 of these for around $12 on eBay, which is like crazy cheap. So um, what do they do? They actually measure distance uh, and they, they can tell you if something is, an object is there or not there. Um, and the theory of operation is fairly straightforward, although we don't really need to know it. Uh, one of these is the transmitter. It transmits out an ultrasonic pulse. That pulse hits something and then bounces back and hits the receiver. Okay, well, so one's a transmitter, one's a receiver. You have an object. It bounces off that object. The amount of round trip time that takes for that pulse to go out, hit the object, and get re and hit the receiver again is measured. And uh, since we know the speed of the ultrasonic pulse, then uh, you can figure out the distance, just a basic time, uh, time, distance, and speed type of calculation there that we get. Basically, it's like radar. <laughs> it's a it's a dollar, it's radar for around a dollar, which is kind of cool, huh? Uh, this thing has four pens on it. It's got VCC, trying to focus here. It's got VCC, trigger, echo, and ground. So we have two pens that we need to connect to our Arduino. Uh, and then we have to provide power and ground for the, for the thing too. And I'm... I'm going to use this little mini breadboard with this just because it's pretty handy. I can stick it in there and then actually, you know, it's it's kind of a holder too. Uh, for this project, we're also going to be using this LCD display. You don't absolutely have to have this if you're going to do the same project. You can output the uh, results to serial monitor on the computer instead if you like. I just chose to use this. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hook this thing up. We have, like I showed you, we have um, ground, VCC. So we'll go ahead and connect those up real quick. I have a ground, connect that to the ground on the Arduino. Spare one right there. And then we have VCC, which will go to five volt output on Arduino. We have a spare right here. Then we have our two signals. Okay, so we have our uh, echo, which we are going to put, we'll connect echo to pin 12 on the Arduino. And then we're gonna connect trigger to pin 13, and we'll see those numbers again in our sketch for the setup. And it's on this side. Here we go. Okay, so we have everything connected. We have our display connected. We have our distance distometer, <laughs> our HCS3. What is it? HCSR04 is connected. Uh, everything's wired up. Let's go to the computer. The first thing we're going to need to do is look at the libraries and if you don't have a library installed you're going to need to do that. So we go to manage libraries and I'll show you which library it is installed. The last one HCSR04 by Dirk Sarodnik version 1.1.2. Two, and if you if you look um, here, HCSR04. If you search, oops, and type that right, did I? HCSR04. If you search HCSR04, then it'll come up with quite a few results, and they probably all work fine. Uh, I just happened to use the one I just showed y'all. So, uh, and of course I also, uh, looking at this code too, I have to do my include for the liquid crystal. Um, 
is sitting on 23. Trigger pin is 13, just like we hooked it up. Echo pin is 12. And then we have a simple uh, LCD begin and backlight that's just turning on our LCD display. And then uh, HCRS04 dot begin and then trigger pin comma echo pin. That's just taking that 13 and 12 from up here. And then here we're making the call to that library for the HCSR04. Uh, double distances equals, and we're making that call getting the return in centimeters. And then printing that out to our LCD. We're doing a 100 millisecond delay and uh, in between measurements. And I think that should be good. That'd be 10 measurements per second. That should be enough. And then we're doing a clear. So it goes, it clears the LCD screen and goes back home again uh, in between printing out the measurement results. So let's go ahead and upload that and see how it works. Back to the HCSR04, if I can ever remember how to say that. Can y'all see this okay? Get the right angle there. And you should be able to see it is about 30 something centimeters, I guess, to the base of this light that I have in front of me. We're, we're gonna, okay, now my hand is supposedly 24 centimeters away. Yeah, that looks, ah, there's a, there's a problem though. I've noticed at some angles, you get bad measurements. I was playing around with this last night some. And when you get a bad measurement, it'll flash up a minus one here sometimes, meaning it's not a good measurement. And otherwise, huh, we're getting some really weird results here. I wonder if this lighting is playing around with it. But there you go, you can see it's fairly solid, although you do get spurious results from time to time. So what I would do, uh, or what I will do when I use this in a sketch, is um, I may pull it like five times and then take the mean, um, the mean of those, or median, I can't remember what the, what the name of it is, where you throw out the high and the low and then you take the average of the rest uh, just to try and you know eliminate any spurious measurements. And then if I aim it at the wall over there, there, I'll aim it like that. You can see that wall is 220 something centimeters away. And I think the range of this thing is around 250 centimeters getting nothing right there if it doesn't like that spot if I move it a little bit it might be a loose jumper wire too but anyway uh, yeah that's that's the HCSR04 it works when it works it works really well and then uh, what, today and then yesterday I noticed whenever it doesn't work it can give you some really crazy results so I would error check and and use multiple <laughs> multiple distance measurements and whatnot, I wouldn't rely on one single measurement. Uh, at least that's what I'm planning on doing going forward. So uh, yeah, if y'all like, like this video, if y'all want to see more like this, please consider hitting subscribe below and I will see y'all again next time. Bye y'all.